Alexa, what time is it? Studio time. So after finishing the keys piece, I decided to pick up where I left off with this piece. I started this piece last semester in the fall and I just stopped painting it. But here we are now, picking up where we left off. So, so yeah. So I think I'm going to kind of draw out in my sketchbook and plan colors and what I'm painting and what I'm not painting, kind of pre-planning things. Whereas usually I do, I do not do that. But um, you know, new year, new me, <laughs> so. Lately, I feel like I've been kind of all over the place, if you can't tell. Update, cannot find my color pencils. So, uh, I think I might just have to use these soft pastels. This is what I came up with. Not the best um, reference, but it gives me kind of an idea of what it's gonna look like. So let's get to painting. I like to put a generous amount. Then lastly, some granola. So our MFA reviews are coming up relatively soon. Um, our review is basically in about a month, like a month and a week, I guess. That's not a lot of time. I wanted to make it a point to kind of start other pieces and start working on other pieces kind of at the same time, so I have other works in progress to show for the review. I think within the next few days, I'm going to start getting those things ready. I have a couple of ideas for new pieces and I'm very excited about them. I've been doing a lot of research on different artists and I've been feeling very uh, inspired to create. Very gloomy today. Alexa, what time is it? Studio time. <laughs> I made this yesterday in fibers. It's like a hat. I can't tell. Does it look funny?
So I was getting kind of tired from painting this very repetitive uh, thing. I don't even know what to call it. It's like metallic fringe, I think. Yeah, I was just kind of over it. So I stopped, I stopped painting and went home. But today's a new day and I got some good feedback on that area that I've been working on. So it doesn't really feel like I'm painting it for no reason now. So that's a good thing. I wanted to go to the art store, but I think I might go tomorrow because it's already 10 and I have class at three today. So we need to get a move on and get some painting done before fibers. So I've been doing some research recently on Richard Estes. His work is insane. You guys have to go check it out. I recently just got this book. This is kind of like a bad example, but he did a lot of like inside, outside paintings, which I really like. A lot of landscapes. This one is also really cool. Rihanna. And so I've been watching some documentaries on him and reading some articles. Now to get finished with painting this background before our history of photography class. We have class on Zoom today, so I'm gonna stay in my studio and do that and probably paint while I listen to the lecture. <laughs>
I'm honestly shocked at how fast this piece is going. Granted, it's just like, for the most part, like solid background, but I got a lot done yesterday and I'm really happy about that. Today, head in the studio again. We're already here. I'm just outside on this beautiful day, enjoying my coffee and reading. It's currently 8.51. I'm waiting for my phone to unlock or my apps to unlock from my phone because I got an app blocker to block social media in the mornings until nine. Nine seems pretty early, but that's usually the time that I get to my studio. So that's what we're up to today. Just more painting and then that's it. Call it a day. I hope you can hear me because there's construction going on right behind me with the crane doing its crane things. Today, I don't know what of painting in my studio. It's been great. The weather's been great, so that's that's awesome. Yeah. Something that's also very exciting and awesome is this article that came out interviewed me for their local stories and it was released today very excited about that very happy with how it came out and yeah go check it out I talk about kind of like my backstory how i got into art some challenges that i faced along the way and some more juicy stuff so go check it out go support read it short little interview but yeah i had a lot of fun doing it and i'm very grateful for voyage miami and them letting me share my story with you guys i think i'm gonna get a little bit more painting done and and then call it a day. So I kind of had a little setback with this piece because I made the mistake of putting down the highlights of the fridge background. I put the highlights down first and I was gonna add texture and the texture was essentially like the highlights. So I'm covering up the smooth highlight now and I have to wait for this paint to dry so then I can do the texture on top. I already tried doing the texture on top of the painted black, but like it's kind of hard to see because the paint's still like wet. So I'm just gonna let it dry, do its thing, and then come back tomorrow and fix it. Wow. 